Oil well, following the increase in the pump price of fuel from 179 naira per liter to 194 naira per liter, fuel scarcity has persisted in Cardinal States and its metropolis. Several filling stations which have adjusted their pump price are locked as they do not have petrol to sell, although some independent marketers increased their pump price to between 200 naira and 300 naira per liter. Motorists, tricycles, and motor commercial bus drivers have continued to patronize them. Chairman of the Major Oil Marketers Association of Nigeria, Moman Olumide Adyoshun, had earlier called for a gradual deregulation of the sector adding that it feared that the current supply framework could not guarantee steady and consistent supplies to the country, given the current state of government finances and unpredictable international supply shortages. The Lagos State Government says plans have been concluded for President Muhammad Buhari's visit to Lagos next week, Monday and Tuesday, to commission five major projects. Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Bengal Motosho, announced during an inter-ministerial press briefing at Alausa Ikeja. Motosho said part of the projects to be commissioned includes the Lekki Deep Sea Port, Lagos Rice Mill, Imota, Lagos Blue Light Project, among others. Although Mr. Governor has hosted the President during some of the visits to Lagos, next week's visit by President Muhammad Buhari will be one with a difference. It is a visit where Mr. President will again see the beauty of Lagos and take the opportunity to see firsthand and commission the life-changing and people-oriented projects undertaken by the Baide Olushola Sonwolu administration. The projects are the Lekki Deep Sea Port, a symbol of a good working relationship between the public and private sectors. The 32 metric tons per hour Lagos rice mill, one of the largest in the world. The 18.75 kilometer six lane rigid pavement electric junction to Equa Expressway. The John Randu Center for Yoruba Culture and History, and the iconic Lagos Blue Line Ray Project. That adequate security has been put on ground. We can not shut it down any roads on the first day. However, on the second day, we went to the picture of Jim Randu as well as the Blue Line Corridor. Uh, there will be some restrictions on uh, some areas of Lagos, uh, in particular the island. So, for example, I think one of our new from and I'm here at the Shola, I'm at the video, they will be closed, and the adjoining room that. Uh, Bring traffic to those major roads. Uh, however, we'll be giving alternatives. So, for example, when you come from the mountain and you want to go into inland levels, we'll make that available to ordinary. And uh, we'll be advising people to use our own bridge to actually connect um, their, uh, their journey to the final destination. 